Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And today I wanted to talk a little bit about something I talked about in the stocking stuffer video. Now, if you missed that video, basically it was just some cheap little things you could throw inside of a stocking stuffer for somebody who might be into tech or likes to take things apart, not just tech. It could take apart all types of things. And it's a cool little toolkit at a fairly reasonable price. I mean, they're not really expensive, but it's a great little kit. This is the Pro Tech Toolkit. This iFixit kit comes with more than double what this kit comes with. The reason why I showed this one in the stocking stuffer video, I didn't have this one prior to Christmas. I guess my wife was one of the people who actually watched the stocking stuffer video. And I uh, guess I'll tell you guys, but this was one of my stocking stuffers. She actually gave me this before Christmas and I am really happy with this one. This one is yes it's got more the quality in the driver in this one is actually a lot better also which i'll be showing you guys throughout the video let's start with the smaller of the two my original iFixit toolkit this is the essentials it's basically what the name implies essentials these are things you will essentially need to open up cell phones laptops fob wearables you know like your alarm for your car the unlock lock smart home plus other things all right so let's open it up and let's take a look at what's inside. I like leaving the box because it has the hook. And if you have a computer or you work on things, you should have some type of arrangement where you can hang some things up you could get to easily. And that just hooks right there and it makes my life a little bit easier. The case, it's pretty cool because you can use it as a way of like not losing screws, nuts, bolts, whatever. You can just drop it in there and it actually has these little blocks in there which we discussed in the other video. You could just drop screws or whatever in different ones so you don't mix them up. And the edges are magnetized so you don't have to worry about it falling off. Also, the other side, the magnets actually extend so you can put it on like that. Let's start with this guy. This right here is an opening tool or basically like a jimmy. Now the little edges here, the pieces that are actually curved, they're good for getting in hard to reach places or like the in-between of a cell phone. So you can actually just, you know, pry it open. A lot of this we went over in the stocking stuff for video, but we're gonna go over it a little bit more. The tweezers. These are precision tweezers. They could get into some pretty tight little spaces. They have a little arch in them. That way, you know, you could hold it like this, say if you're soldering or you're trying to put a screw or something in, it's not just flat, you know, you could put a little arch. Actually, I've lost a screw or bolt behind a motherboard tray one time. It was just too narrow of a spot to get my fingers in, but this went right in, grabbed it, brought it right out. You know, sometimes you get lucky, sometimes you don't. Actually, last time I'd like to take a mulligan on something I said in the other video about these and metal and make sure you're grounded and be careful because you could ground out because still metal. Actually, from my knowledge now, everything in here is ESD safe. Pretty cool. Here, I'll show you. It even says it right there. I don't know if you guys can see it. Now, the Pro Tech Toolkit. To my knowledge, this is the biggest toolkit that iFixit actually has. And I'll show you why. I mean, really and truly, I couldn't see what else would be missing out of here. But if iFixit ever made a, a drill that's uh, electric, it just spins on its own, that would be number one. I think that's probably what everybody's been asking for who's been using iFixit. It'd be nice not to have to sit there and screw in every screw for a motherboard. You could just zzz, 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 zzz. But they got some cheap ones you can find, but not iFixit brand. So I like the way it opens like this, pretty cool. And what's inside is more of a case. Also, you'll receive some stickers, pretty cool. The right to repair, fix the world, I fix it. Here you go, take a look at those. Yeah, I'm a sticker person, so thank you. The owner's manual. Our story, I'll tell you about I fix it. It's telling you a little bit about what's inside and also the names of each tool individually. Uh, the other kits, uh, they have a magnetic project mat. I didn't know that. The Mahi driver kit built to last. So that's pretty much just a thing of drivers, which is pretty much what we have in here, plus a lot of other things. That's just the owner's manual, some other things you could get into, learn what each part is, and get a little backstory on iFixit. 
where they come from. Time to open this up, but check it out. It's Velcroed. And when you open it up, you are welcomed to your tools. Check it out. Everything is nicely organized, put in its own space. Let's start on the left and work our way to the right. On the far upper left, this right here. Y'all might recognize this from my other videos. ESD bracelet, electrostatic discharge bracelet. Now, if you have a mod mat or there's certain mats that actually have a plug, you could just ground in. You take this off right here and this will plug somewhere into your mat so that way you don't have to clip it. And that's pretty neat. And then this part right here goes wrapped around either your wrist or your ankle. Just make sure this piece right here, the metal surface is actually making contact with your skin. This is what's going to discharge current running through your body, especially for people like us who live in Southern California, in the desert areas, because we, we build up a lot more static electricity around here because of the dry weather, heat, wind, what have you. Uh, I'm pretty sure you guys seen Linus's videos and Jay's Two Cents videos where they actually showed you how much static discharge the body could produce. Jay's video was crazy, but I also live in the Dirty Dino. San Bernardino. Down here, wow, we get some crazy static electric discharge. I mean, it's nuts. My carpet under my PC is just a small mat and the rest of my room is tile. I had a goose down blanket. I just, you know, normal sitting here at night, my socks on, on my computer, went to bed. And when I picked the blanket to cover myself with it, there was a shock from my finger to the goose down blanket that was about this long. And I'm not lying when I say it was about this thick. I seen the discharge. It was like, I said it in a, in a couple times that I felt like uh, the emperor from Star Wars and ultimate power. I just, it freaked me out. I jumped, it hurt. I mean, it really hurt. I actually had to shake it off. And something with that type of uh, electricity and that voltage will definitely fry something in your electronics so use one of these or touch something that's grounded in metal discharge constantly do that make sure that you're discharging it out of your body that's why these are so important people will poke fun people will talk well yeah over the years electronics and electronic manufacturers have gotten a lot better and the motherboards and components they're a lot more durable Yes, but exposed capacitors. You touch one of those while you're handling the motherboard and your body's full of ESD, you'll fry it. Plain, plain and simple. I'm not saying you touch anything electronic, it'll blow or fry or whatever. Certain components, and if you're anything like me, we touch those components, it happens. So please take the necessary precautions whenever working on your stuff or anybody else's and wear one of these. You know, have it connected at all times. Take a, a random power supply. Go get one of those cheap random power supplies. Plug it in somewhere near your workstation. Put this to something metal and have this dangling or hanging or whatever. Just leave this plugged into the power supply. Bring this out when you're ready to work, clip it in. Just leave this into the power supply that you're gonna use for uh, ESD discharge. Throw it on your ankle, go to work. That's it. I mean, it's not a big deal. I don't understand why people make fun of it. Look it, if you're just getting into PCs, I understand, you know, if, but a lot of us who've been working with electronics for over 25, almost 30 years, we appreciate something that stops us from actually damaging our stuff. So good deal, I fix it. Oh, you can actually buy these separate at Best Buy. They are iFixit's uh, brand. So they do sell these for like $5 separate. So you don't have to buy this to get this. Walk into Best Buy, it's right there on the shelf in the PC components department. Five bucks, you own this, done. I've never seen the tool uh, kits there, but I might be wrong. Maybe that's where my wife got. No, I think my wife ordered this off of Amazon. And when you're done, put your stuff back. Another suction cup. It moves, it does, so you get different angles, what have you. Oh, right here, this is like a release. Try to peel it back and it'll let air in and it'll pop right off. I like that it has its own cool little slot. Just use that as a latch. And then you have three of these off to the side here with their own individual sleevings. These few things need no introduction, so you already know about these. Let's get to some new stuff. Oh wait, these again, guitar picks. So yeah, you have a lot more than six here. These are excellent. 
these are reverse tweezers. So instead of having to squeeze to hold here, and they'll just hold on for you. So if you gotta pick something up, let's say it's something small. Let's pretend this is a screw. So it's holding on with a good amount of pressure, mind you. It's not that, it's not by barely holding on to it. And they're very pretty, actually. I love the color combination, the matte black with this like uh, brushed aluminum type of look. Very pretty. It's got a pretty cool tip, as you can see. And if you notice right here, it has screws. So if anything breaks, you can always order a replacement and get new tips. Pretty neat, right? But these are plastic, these tips. I think they're plastic. Yeah, these are plastic. They're kind of pointy, but not really. But just neat, guys. It's a really cool tool. Don't go in there. That's not, you don't, you are not, I see how it try to sneak into the slot. You are not iFixit. You will never be iFixit. Get a life. Let's move on. Oh, there's our tweezers again. The precision ones, same thing. No difference. ESD safe. Let's see if I can get a better picture of it for you guys here. Keep your tip covered. It's just safe. Safety first and teamwork. Then another set of ESD safe tweezer. Pretty cool thing about this tweezer is rigid inside. So that way it, you, it won't drop whatever you're holding. So if you gotta pick something up, you don't gotta worry about it slipping out. It'll hold on to whatever, you know. But it's another cool tweezer to have. You can find all types of uses for all these tools. I've used pretty much everything you see here and probably not for what it was intended for. Maybe it was, but not to my knowledge. Another spudger, same thing, no difference. And then you have this spudger right here. This one is called a, oh, halberd. This is a halberd spudger. Another spudger right here. This one's metal. I use these for application purposes. I use them for all types of other reasons, but it's cool to have an assortment. You never know when you need them. And then your, your Jimmy tool. But another one of these. Maybe now you guys can see the these parts a little bit better. This is where you put your fingers and you could. And now for a quick comparison. This is the Essentials, this is the ProTech. Essentials is great, ProTech is better, of course. Now look at all the extra bits you have. This, right here. So this is magnetized, and basically when you lose a screw, you throw this on, and you can get that screw. And one tool you would use for that, right here. Like a snake, basically. Take this, put it in there, and now look, you got a snake. Take the driver, put that in, and check this out, wherever you screw it, that will move. So if something's at an angle, look at that, it moves. If you can hold it from the edges that actually have a grip right there, hold it right here when you're screwing is better. But look, look at the angle, look, look at that. So if you lose something, you can use this. Also, if something's at a weird angle and you gotta use one of these funny guys right there, it's at an angle, you twist it and look. Pretty neat, right? So that's what this tool is for. So get into tight squeezes, what have you. Now, what I wanted to show you also, the difference in the drivers. Can you notice the difference? This one on the right doesn't have the painted eye fix it. This one does. This one doesn't have a rubber. This one does. This one's metal all around. The tip is metal and look, it moves a lot more fluidly compared to this one. This one's a lot more stuck it's, it feels stuck at times where this one is fluid it just it's great i love this one it feels more durable you could do more with it where this one sometimes if i feel i'm putting too much pressure i'll stop get a different driver this is good for putting in motherboards opening up graphics cards things like that this one that and a lot more here you feel a lot more confident when you're actually opening or shutting something so yeah that's the perk of actually getting the bigger tool set but yet again either set is fine so that's basically what comes in the essentials and the pro you can find all types of use cases for either set now if you go on the ifixit website more than likely you will find somebody who's opened whatever you're trying to open Check out the website. They have thousands of videos on all types of things being opened using their toolkit. You don't have to have their toolkit to go on the website. It's free to join and you can watch all the videos you want because they're gonna lead right back to YouTube videos 
anyways as you could see this will be more detailed let's get a quick little look at it and i will put up a quick itemized list of all the bits that come in here the essentials was 29.95 the pro was 60 bucks also you will feel a heck of a lot more confident with this on your side than an ordinary toolbox that you slap together So 16 bits, four millimeter driver, 64 bits, four millimeter driver, plus all those extra spudgers and jimmies. And, but again, hey, the essentials kit for $20, uh, 30 bucks. Excellent. Protect toolkit for 60 bucks. I've spent a lot more on quality tools and still had to run the Harbor Freight to get that one random tool. That's the two that I have. Now they have the mat, which I'm gonna order and I promise I'll do a review on the mat. Also, they have the uh, Mahahi kit, I believe it was called, where it's just the drivers. It looks similar to the bigger bit box that came with the, uh, the ProTech kit. Either one is fine. If you've watched any of my previous builds, PC, putting in the AIO, uh, putting in hard drives, taking my PC apart, taking the PlayStation 4 Pro apart to reapply thermal paste to clean out the inside. I used my iFixit kit, the essentials. Everybody has them, Linus has them. There's a reason why they have them. It's not because these guys just randomly send it to them and give them money. I tried to get iFixit to sponsor a video and uh yeah they're not that easy to get the sponsor but i don't blame them either i only have maybe 170 followers i just thought i'd ask but they did reply to me in a more than timely manner so that was cool uh they just wanted a lot more subscribers than youtube actually asks for uh to get monetized if you don't know that's 1000 followers and 4000 hours of actual watch time and you can't have no uh copyrights or strikes or claims or whatever plus they got a review but whatever they require 10,000 subscribers if you uh, if for them to even talk to you so hey understandable i have no hate for i fix it over that i'm not even upset about it because as you can see i'm still doing this video because i trust in their product i appreciate the product so the bigger one was 69 and change so 70 dollars plus tax 30 dollars aiden Hi, Dad. Come here, Dad. What you doing? Uh, we all missed you. Everybody missed you on the video. What happened? Where were you? You want to see this one? So, Aiden gives his uh, thumbs up. Tool do you like in here the most? Which one? Yeah, the tools. Look at the suction cup. Yeah. It's perfect size for him. It's a good suction cup. So if he goes after body work, he could pop out the dent with the suction cup. Wait, you put it in the back? Even a child knows where the parts go. Those are bits. Yeah, that goes there. What? Want to make it uh, do the thing? And I fix it, by the way. This is what you missed out on. You could have had him representing your brand. You missed out. Actually, no, you didn't. He's still doing it for free. That's how much we like it around here. Uh-huh. Did you guys get that? That was very important. I hope you guys didn't miss it. Thanks again for watching. We always appreciate the likes, the comments. We appreciate everybody who subscribed to the channel. Aiden, can you say bye to everybody at home? Bye. Die. Say bye. Can you say like and subscribe? <laughs> done I guess done is gonna have to work so don't forget to like and subscribe and uh, bye die